Kimbo, keep your mind straight now. Hey, don't want that. Mm. Get hyper. One more to go. Strong. Is that right? It's gonna be a presidential. Ah, damn it. A pressure pack situation. You don't it's about that to explode. Either. In the final rotation, here's Betty Aquino. Her final event on the uneven bars. Betty has been such a surprise in this competition, and this is a great event for her to finish on. Here comes her first release. Big front flip regrass. You know, she has such a long, lean body type, and she really looks terrific on this event. Second release, reverse act. She's working nicely, preparing for a dismount. It's an unusual dismount. Front with a half twist. It was very well done. The Crowleys must be very satisfied with her performance. And with Brandy Johnson falling in the last rotation of the beam, it also is an opportunity for Betty Aquino to possibly slide up and move up in the standings. You're the strong sucker. You really are the strong. And I'm proud of you. I'm honestly proud of you. These championships have marked the emergence of Betty Aquino as a legitimate contender for the 92 Barcelona Olympics, and she had almost no international competition coming into the national championships this weekend. And when you look at the overall picture, Christy, most coaches feared that Bella Caroli was going to dominate the sport in future years. Well, that is truly unfolding now. There's no doubt, Joel, that these girls, Bella Caroli's gymnasts, have been collectively picking up steam throughout the competition. You can see Betty Aquino wincing a little bit over a 9-8, not satisfied with a 9-8. Incredible how intense the group is and how they challenge each other. Another Caroli protege, currently fifth, Erica Stokes ready now for the uneven bars. And it continues with so much success for Caroli this weekend. This is a great event for Erica Stokes. She swings extremely well, and she is a very powerful gymnast on this event. There's her first release, a Ginger. She's working strong, aggressive. Second release, a beautiful reverse hack. She's gearing up for a dismount. Double tuck. Oh, and a rare mistake on that landing. Right now, Caroli's girls are challenging each other. They're raising each other to that next level. And I've got to believe, Christy, that is going to pay dividends for Kim Zemesco. You're absolutely right, Joel. As a matter of fact, not only is it a psychological advantage for Kim coming into this event, seeing her teammates hit, but it's also setting the stage for the judges. And that's a very interesting point because right now, the consistency and the momentum that Aquino and the rest of the girls like Erica Stokes are putting together for Bella Caroli's gym that's got to help the scoring down the road for Kim Zemesco. Here's a look at her dismount. She does a double tug. She takes a big step on the landing, and it will be interesting to see how much the judges penalize her for that error. So Erica Stokes has completed the competition with a 9.75. That is a perfect example of how a team can get on a roll, and even the judges are swept up in the momentum, and individuals benefit. Now, the pressure rests on the shoulders of the defending champion, Brandy Johnson, trailing Kim Zemesco. To have any kind of shot, she practically needs a 10. Come on, Brandy. Come on, man. Brandy Johnson is certainly capable of a 10 on this event. Her first pass may tell the story. She does a whip through to a full in back out, the most difficult pass being done in the competition. feet out of bounds, Christy. That's already two-tenths of a point deducted. She's working for a 9-8 at this point. Now, Christy, every time we saw her in March at the American Cup, she was short on her tumbling passes. There she went long. Well, Joel, it looked like she had it. She simply bounced out of bounds. Well done, double back. Much cleaner since that first pass, but the problems obviously are still continuing for Brandy Johnson. She was out of training for a while due to illness and injury. And we have seen over the last two rotations, the balance beam, and now on the floor exercise. She is oh so close, but definitely she's not all the way back. 
Brandy Johnson is a phenomenal athlete, and we need Brandy Johnson for the U.S. team. But we need Brandy Johnson in top shape. Brandy now getting ready for her final tumbling pass. And she performs another double tuck, the same pass she used for a middle pass. Unfortunately for Brandy, that's another deduction. And more and more now, it looks like Brandy Johnson may not be able to hold on to second place All right, in the all-around okay. competition. All right. Okay, good finish. A disaster good on the balance right. beam, followed by basically right. an average performance okay. on the floor exercise. Good finish. Okay, good aggressive. Okay. Here's where the problems began. You can see Brandy does a whip through to her full end back out. That's more difficult than any of the other athletes in the competition. Nice high full end. Looks like she has it. And then she just hops right out of bounds. She just bounces out. As a coach, you hate that kind of error because she's already completed the difficult part. She's done the skill and then a mental error. And her coach displaying his disappointment, Kevin Brown. So Brandy Johnson very close to making it all the way back, but it all unraveled over the final two rotations. And she may not be able to hold on to second place any longer. A 9-4-7-5. That's a real shame for Brandy Johnson. She's a great champion. She led all the way through the competition until the final two events. What a disappointment. So Brandy